I mean the international audience as well. So can all the people who are not from India put up the message that from which country they are? Some of them are from USA, UK, Albania, Uganda. Is there anyone who is not from the India right now? Great. So who all of you are from Delhi? Bangalore, Mumbai, can you put your message now? All Mumbai people, Bangalore, Pune, wow, Chetan is from Kolkata, Yeti from Pune, Ganesh is from Pune, that's awesome, awesome. So, there are 18 persons right now, we, a few more will be joining soon, I guess. So, this is, this is very amazing step that you guys are taking to upgrade your skill, learn more. So for this efforts of your, I want all of you to pat your back, you know, give some kind of, yeah, great, that's nice. Everybody else, you know, pat your back, say, good job, congrats. You are doing something to increase your uh, knowledge, your potential, you want to improve, you want to learn something, you want to upgrade yourself with the new skill. That is an awesome effort in terms of the usefulness of this lockdown. So congratulations all of you and by the end of today's session you will be able to tell from the handwriting that which people are scared, which person is fat or slim just by looking at the handwriting. Is that very awesome? You know, such a cool and crazy thing. Just by looking at handwriting from the long distance you will tell okay this person is fat, this person is slim. Can you can you imagine that happening? You know? Such an awesome human unique thing. So all those and many more secrets you guys are going to get from this course. Before that, before starting the session, uh, I want all of you to be aware about this fact that today empty your all cups before you proceed further. Whatever you have learned in previous lectures, previous maybe psychology, maybe uh, in uh, Vastu, maybe in some other course, forget all of the, those things and be here present with the open mind. Some of you are already a graph logist. So there might be a chance that you might be removing something from your previous classes. Just delete it before we proceed further. Here, whatever you are going to be, we might discuss your handwriting, your own handwriting samples and all. So do not uh, be open for that analysis. Don't be judgmental towards analysis. Don't be criticizing towards the people. If nothing is good and nothing is bad. You know, if you have knife in your hand, if you use that knife, you can use that knife for robbery as well as to save somebody, right? In the surgeon's knife, the knife is a kind of, uh, uh, you know, boon. And in the uh, the hands of thieves, it's, it's like a curse. So nothing is good and nothing is bad. We are here just to be aware about what it is. Okay, so do not be judgmental towards anybody from the handwriting which we are going to analyze. All of you have submitted your samples, so there is a chance possible that we might take few samples out of that and we might analyze those samples. So don't feel bad, nothing is good and nothing is bad. As long as it's useful on you, it's good, okay? Then I want this commitment from all of you that don't be, uh, don't leave and come back very often, you know, be here for entire three hours so that uh, you get the, uh, it, it should not disturb anybody else and at the same time you get entire, uh, you know, uh, this uh, program just, you know, the program's work you will get. Okay, then a uh, few, few concepts which you might not be finding, you might be from a different kind of religion. So there's a chance that you might not be familiar with those kinds of concepts. So if at all you have any queries or question, raise your hand and sp uh, speak whenever you have been given the opportunity to speak. Okay, so with this, let's start the session, guys. The session is the Day one of handwriting and signature signature master program. So let's start it. Okay. So before we uh, start talking about the graphology, let's start something about why handwriting and signature reveals about your your mind. Can let me share the PPT with you. Okay. Uh, is everybody able to see the PPT? 
Yeah? Can you raise your hand? All of you who are able to say, okay, okay great. It is visible. Awesome. So now the question is, uh, isn't it odd and absurd that one guy, one guy here is claiming about Okay, Anupama, if you are not able to hear, then uh, you need to check your audio settings. You need to dial in your audio, uh, this, uh, 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 your, whatever device you are using, on the audio over there, because the rest of the guys are able to listen. Okay, so it's your uh, technical fault, do it. Now, uh, isn't it odd that one guy and plenty of other guys also are claiming to understand human subconscious mind to handle it? How odd, absurd, and crazy this is for you, no? Can you put the masses who find this idea very crazy? The people who find this idea very crazy, can you can you put it there? That this is not possible. This is I never heard. And the first time, the people who are Anjali Panchal, uh, Trisha, okay, people who find this idea very absurd or odd or not conventional one. Okay, great. Dimple. Okay. Great. Ishan, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Absurd for you as well. Ganesh is still initially. Yeah, Ganesh has been with me from the last two, three years. So it was uh, exciting for me. It was not crazy or absurd for me. It was exciting me. exciting for me for the first time when I heard this. Okay, there is something called as uh, graphology from which and handwriting analysis from which you can know about the person and his signature. Uh, so, uh, with the excitement I went for the class, okay, for the, with the excitement I went for the books, with, I went, with the excitement I went for the other knowledge, okay. I'm not muted, I mean, Rishi, you can check your own settings. You are muted because you are not supposed to speak, but you can listen to me. Okay, so, how many of you, uh, say, you know, know about the graphology, that what is the connection between handwriting and your mind? How many of you? Okay, Yeti knows. Awesome. So, Yeti, according to you, why a handwriting is able to explain about the mindset? I am going to unmute you. Just speak up. Yeah. How? How? What? Okay. Okay. Great. But but uh, yeah. When you say your mood is good, mood is bad, you can see the difference. And right. But how the connection is made? What is the medium? Why? Why it works? Great. So that is what I wanted to, you know, uh, yeah, you can move yourself now. So, uh, from where, which part of your body you think? Can you type it down? Which part of your body you think? According to you. Yeah, Trisha, Anjali, Manisha, Ganesh, which part of body you... Brain, brain, cellular part, Head, brain, brain, head and brain, Anjali, conscious and subconscious mind, Yeti, mind, okay, great. So, few of you are claiming that you think from brain and few of you are claiming that you think from the mind. So, mind actually, Yeti, okay, connection between mind and brain, okay. So, what is mind and what is brain? Is the two things you can type in because I am reading the you know whatever you are okay. So what is the mind and what is the brain according to you? Yeah, Ruiv, Harjot, you can type in out as well. You know, what is the connection? What is is mind and brain different? How many of you feel like mind and brain are the same thing? And how many of you feel like mind and brain are two different things? Type in out, you know, same, different, same, different. How many of you feel that mind and brain are the same thing? Mithal is saying different, very nice. This is internet position, more you type more I will learn, okay? Yeti says different, brain is the physical part, skull, okay? 
आनंद सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हार्डवेयर हर जो उसकी ब्रेन इज अवर माइंड इज कॉन्शियस इज अवेल टू ब्रेन वेरी नाइस विच आर डिफरेंट फॉर द ग्रेट सो मेनी ऑफ यू आर वेर दर माइंड एंड ब्रेन इज डिफरेंट सो इफ आई आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन अबाउट वेर योर माइंड इज हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दैट वेर योर वेर इज योर माइंड If I ask you where is your brain, lot of people will point over here. No, this is brain. They will say in a head you have brain. But when I say where is your mind, where everywhere. Okay, Daksha, focus your mind. Okay, focus over here. Your mind is everywhere. Focus it to the center. Okay, mind is our thoughts. Very nice. So another question comes that is your mind in your brain or your brain mind brain is in your mind. Or whether your mind is in your body, or your body is in your mind. Yeah. Uh, great Chetan, Jati, great. Brain is the mouth, mind. Yeah. This is this is synonyms. Okay, mind is brain. Body is in our mind. Body is in is mind. Okay. Come on. Okay. So, so the question is whether your body is in your is in your mind or your mind is in your body. सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल हाउ वॉट इट राइट सम थोड़ा आगे पीछे हो गया लेकिन आया है सो इट्स लाइक नाउ यू हैव फाइव फाइव बॉडीज फाइव बॉडीज सो हियर द बॉडीज पिक्चर इज देयर द फर्स्ट बॉडी इज स्थूल शरीर सो ऑल योर ऑर्गन्स और अन्ना में कोश सो ऑल योर ऑर्गन्स और थिंग विच आर फिजिकल इन नेचर आर पार्ट ऑफ अन्ना में कोश और भी स्थूल शरीर बॉडी ओके सो दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉडी हैज द ब्रेन एंड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट कम इज द प्राण में कोश एंड नाउ दिस प्राण में कोश इज मेड अप ऑफ योर प्राण द थिंग बिच बिकॉज ऑफ विच योर बॉडी बिकम्स अ लिविंग थिंग सो The anamic kosha is getting controlled by prana me kosha. So whatever problems you have in your body, in your stool shrira, can be solved by the prana shrira. That's why the uh, this Baba Ramdev Baba will tell you tell you to do. He will ask you to do kapal bhaj. If your feet is paining, uh, you know, if your stomach is paining, or if your sir, this headache, you have headache, you have heart pressure, whatever the condition of you, yours is, he will always ask you to do some kind of prana because. Prana Shrira has the ability to solve all the problems of Stula Shrira, Anna Mekush. Now the next is Mano Mekush, Man. This is now a mind. Now this mind is the accumulation of thoughts which you have from your inception. In the inception, let's say, so the moment you got the in the form of sperm and the egg. From that moment onwards, the mind comes into the picture. so whatever you are right now is the manome kosha you know that is the accumulation of your thoughts in your brain but so this is the manome kosha now our study of graphology is the study of manome kosha we our study doesn't go beyond it it is it is will be it will be only with the manome kosha and then comes the then there there comes the uh, okay zoom somebody is asking for zoom I don't know why I will do it to zoom it or not. It's there available on the net as well, internet as well. So you need to type in that. Okay, five bodies. When five bodies, this will come. Five bodies of. Uh, okay, so Vigyan uh, Mekosha and Anand Mekosha. Anand Mekosha is something which has the universal consciousness. Vigyan Mekosha again has again has all the imprints of your past life. You know, it stores everything which you have been through. So that is why even if when you sleep. If you fall down in sleep, you tend to adjust yourself, right? Because your body has that kind of experience in the past, past lives, I mean to say. Okay. So our entire study is about the manomekosha, man, manashari. So graphology is a manashari. Now, what exactly happens? The Yati was trying to explain how it happens. The moment that in your brain, in your brain, your brain has been divided in twenty of parts. Your eyes has got some. Your Tongue has got some, so the maximum, according to you, the maximum portion in your brain is maximum portion in your brain is uh, all 
allocated to which organ according to you? Maximum portion in your brain is allocated to which organ? Harjo Singh is saying eyes. Anybody has a claim for lay skin? Okay. Trisha is saying skin. Anybody has a taker for mouth? Hands? Brain? I don't know. I mean, we are talking about the uh, organs. Brain. Okay. And then I ask me. In the, in the brain, in a brain, Maximum portion of a brain is allocated to which organ, Anjana? Which organ? In a brain, if we divide brain in multiple parts as for the organ, the maximum space. Eyes and ears, Chetan. You, you need to keep, the, keep them open. Neil is saying Nadi, okay. Daksha is in uh, Arvind, it's about the organ we are talking about, not the uh, imaginary thing. It has to be an organ. Let me defend the organ, you know, for you. Mouth, head, hands, legs, fingers. So for all of you who, do, who doesn't know their body at all, you know, heart, okay, I'm really saying heart, fine, great. So all of you who doesn't know, uh, about your body, this will be an aha moment for all of you. This is aha moment, you know, the first time you will be listening and the maximum space is allocated to your tongue. Your tongue has a maximum rotational thing and it has a maximum muscles. Tongue has a maximum muscles, maximum rotation. The kind of movement tongue can make, you know, the maximum space in your brain is allocated to your tongue. That's why when you are quiet, you, you tend to have a lot of peace because the mind is quiet, the brain is quiet. Wow, that is a moment. So after tongue, then comes the eyes, then comes the limbs. Limbs, because see how many rotation, 360, 270 degree of rotation it can make, you know, your hands, your legs. So limbs and hands, arms have the maximum space. And after that comes the thumb. Thumb has the maximum space after that, and after thumb it is the fingers. So the moment you want to write something, okay, the moment you want to write something, there will be a lot of interaction between your neurons and dendrons, and those things will generate an electromechanical current. And that current will then get converted into the that current will get converted into the uh, line, loop and curve on the plate. The moment you move your fingers, this thing will get converted into the, these things will get converted into the line, loop and curve on the paper. And when you have the systematic approach for analysis of that paper, so the moment uh, you have an understanding towards the line loop and curve, you will be able to analyze and understand the mindset. So we are going to understand that, you know. So this is the basis. Why graphology will be able to tell you why, what is the mindset? Because the mindset is getting imprinted on the paper in the form of line loop and curve. Because the mind and brain, the, the thought will come into the mind, that thought will get into the brain, brain will generate electrical mechanical current and that current will get into the, onto the paper. So this is the flow. Uh, mind, brain, and then the hundred. Now, now another question is okay. It's, it's great. You might say, "Wow, wow." Okay, hold up. Your your thoughts might get imprinted on the paper. But what is the logic? How can this current in the form of line, loop and curve can be analyzed? No? What is the logic? How can a person can analyze this? So for this particular uh, question, we have the symbolic, symbolic, no, 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 no pattern, no statistics. Here, the way we are going to analyze the handwriting or the way we are going to understand the handwriting is through the 
मेटाफोर और सिंबॉलिक वे नो सिंबॉलिक वे योर माइंड विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस योर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड ऑलवेज गेट्स प्रोग्राम थ्रू सिंबॉलिक लैंग्वेज सिंबॉलिक थिंग्स सो सिंबल्स एंड ओनली सिंबल्स द मोमेंट यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सिंबल ओनली वॉट यू मैंने सिंबॉलिक सिंबॉलिक इज वॉट सन सन इज अ सिंबल फॉर योर फादर मोन इज अ सिंबल फॉर योर मदर नो दिज आर सिंबॉलिक लैंग्वेज सो द मोमेंट यू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दिस सिंबॉलिक वे ऑफ योर माइंड to represent this entity you will be able to analyze it and so we are going to understand why cryptography works because we are going to map the symbols or symbolic language of subconscious mind with the handwriting there is no patterns you understand how your symbol how your mind works in, in, in terms of symbols for example this upward triangle the moment you have upward triangle upward triangle is for fire as simple as that it's a fire symbol because the moment Fire gets up, no? It goes like this. Fire, I see, just like that. Fire, fire. Last time, just a pyramid was there, so because it has that kind of form, so, so your mind will understand. Your your mind, no? It's just I'm just making the aware about the symbols right now. Afterwards, we'll. So your mind understand in that pattern. Okay, fire means upward trend. The moment water comes down, if you throw some water somewhere, it will form a inverted trend. This is the forward triangle. This will be a inverted triangle. No, so those mind will always understand the symbols in that way because because it's a symbolic language of the uh, mind. So uh, we will understand how those symbols and the mind can be mapped. Okay. So now there are three levels of action. Again, why why graphology works? No, why graphology works? Because there are three levels of action. First action is the reflex action. The reflex action is there. in you since you have started getting the birth on this earth from the day one so you have the instinct from your first birth jab aap machli the magarmach the ghode the to wo sabhi ka jo reflex apne aapke man mein man mein hai aap aapka khud ka jo body bhi hai this body also has lot of reflex action stored in your dna so the first level of action is reflex action which you just cannot modify but you can add on to your reflex action you can always add on to your reflex action how to add on to the reflex action by practicing that same thing again and again and again and again and again so the first level of action is the reflex action now this reflex action will be will be there in everybody's everybody's mind so how to add on to the reflex action if you practice one thing again and again again and again what happens it becomes part of your cellular memory and you become the moment it becomes part of your cellular memory your all actions will be a reflex action like you pressing the brake when somebody is in front of you or Sachin Tendulkar, when he plays the ball thrown at him at the speed of one fifty kilometers per hour, he is able to hit that. You know, before his eyes could even see the ball, he is into action. Why? Because he has trained his body to make that action as a reflex action. If you why practice you? Why you have to practice so much? Is because it has to be your reflex action. Why? Because unless until you are reflecting, you and now will there is no time to think. It has to be from your, uh, from from your super subconscious mind, not from the subconscious mind as well. So subconscious mind के भी परे जाके आपकी body में है तो reflex action है जो आपको survival में मदद करता है. Reflex action will always help you to survive. This is it is there in your body. That is why these uh, the people who doesn't have the normal mind, no? the people who are abnormal mind. those people are also able to survive those people also go for eating they know what to eat what not to eat because it's a reflex action a dog will always bark to uh, towards the person who from whom who he feels threatened you know why because it's a reflex action he understand the vibration so first level of action is reflex action and second level of action is voluntary action now what is voluntary action voluntary action is i want to speak so i while i'm speaking what to speak is my 
what interaction but while speaking my head will go like this my uh, my head will go like this my hand will move some kind of in some other way this way or this way so this is the involuntary interaction you drinking the glass of water is a voluntary action but the way you lift the glass the way you put the glass down those all things are in voluntary action sanjay does walks walking of sanjay that is a voluntary action but the walk the, the way he walks no as as he is lifting that is involuntary action he cannot able he is not able to control his entire body erect posture is because of bend like that so that bend thing is a involuntary action voluntary action and involuntary action so this involuntary action is the is the subconscious mind language so while you when you write writing s or writing a is a voluntary action but the way that s or the a comes out on the paper is a involuntary action you want to write the best possible way of writing it but the moment you start writing your a will be squeezed a will be stretched it will be taller it will be falling back going forward you know all sort of things will happen because this is a involuntary reaction so that is why nobody can cheat nobody can lie when he starts to write after even if somebody is trying to control his handwriting after three lines he will lose the control he will lose his control and he will spill his subconscious mind onto the paper that is why we use his science to capture thieves capture criminals capture uh, capture somebody who is lying trying to lie speaking lie you know all this for this very reason you just ask ask them to write five to five six lines before writing one line that i am not i am not involved in the robbery so after five six lines he writes i am not involved in robbery he will spill it if he is involved something will uh, she, uh, give you the way you try with your kid with your kid you know you ask him to write five six lines and then ask him whether he has done something wrong or not the moment he says i have done everything correct the correct way what will have some kind of problem so that is how the handwriting works so this was a regarding the uh, conscious mind and subconscious mind and why graphology works you know basically so the next the next slide is about okay now uh now when we talk about symbology okay we need to understand how uh how handwriting has this symbolic way of thing you know how a uh, handwriting has a symbolic uh, presentation of things so the first symbol which we we are going to discuss is symbol of ardhanarish how many of you seen how many of you have you seen this particular picture before this can i just put it uh, i have seen i have seen i have seen or i have Yeah, Ishan. Ishan has asked the question. This involuntary action comes in different action. Yeah, yeah. all in all, I'm all the great. Mani is saying, Chetan is saying. Oh wow, there are plenty of people seeing that. Awesome. So most of you are from India. Great. So if you on a lighter note, you need to observe this. Okay, this is the part of male. This is the part of female. So male has the nandi, which can be eaten by the lion. That is why nandi is. are supposed to be fearful to from the lion i'm talking about lion not the lady okay so this is on the joke joke apart uh now this particular picture tells us about our sibling let me tell you the story why do you know why this uh, particular uh, shankar and parvati had this kind of form why they took the form of ardhanarish how many of you are aware of the story about why uh, the shankar became a uh, shankar and parvati became the ardhanarish How many of you are aware about the story? Anybody is aware? Oh, Ishan, Ishan is not aware. Yeah, of course. So the story goes like this: that uh, Kartikeya, okay, Kartikeya, the the Lord Kartikeya, uh, was born when these two people are having mating. You know, mating in the sense, uh, uh, Shiv and Parvati. We are we are having some kind of uh, Uh, discussion and these these things happen started happening they had they, they were trying to do something mating and all and at that time because of the tap or dah of uh, shankar parvati had a, had a sweat one drop of sweat and that sweat fell on the ground from which the kartikeya kartikeya got the birth so because it has that of that much of 
तप ना उस शिव का तेज या शिव का उतना तप जो था ताप जो था दाह था उससे वो कार्तिक का जन्म हुआ सो ही वॉज एंग्री ही वॉज स्ट्रॉन्ग ही वॉज फियर्सफुल ही वॉज वॉरियर ही वॉज ही वॉज एवरी थिंग डिफरेंट बाई दिन ग्रह मंगल सो so, इतना ज़्यादा दाह था तो इस दाह के साथ कोई भी और लेडी साथ में नहीं रह पाती नो बड़ी कुड़ा बिन एबल टू स्टे विद दिस लेडी दिस कार्तिक या सो वेन द टाइम केम एट विच ही शुड बी ही शुड बी विद सम लेडी नो लेडी कुड हैव बीन विथ हिम बट दैट मच ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ एंड स्ट्रॉन्गनेस हैड दैट मच ऑफ एंगर ही है सो शिव एंड पार्वती डिसाइडेड टू मर्ज इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम टू टेल हिम दैट एवरी थिंग इन दिस यूनिवर्स इज अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ और रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दैम नो द मेल इज अ शिवा एंड फीमेल इज पार्वती सो एवरी अदर ह्यूमन बींग और एवरी अदर देवता विल बी आइदर हिज सिस्टर और ब्रदर so the, at that time कार्तिक या अंडर सो लोके नाउ ही कैन नॉट मैरी एनी बडी एंड नाउ ही कैन नॉट फाइट एनी बडी ही हैड अ टेंडेंसी ऑफ गेटिंग टू फाइट ऑल द टाइम सो एट दैट टाइम ही अंडर सूड दी दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग ऑफ ही कैन नॉट मैरी नाइ दर एंड ही कैन नॉट फाइट एज सो दैट फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग दिस शिवा टूक शिवा एंड पब्लिक टूक दिस को दिस कैन ऑफ अवतार और अर्ध नारिश बट वट वट सिग्निफिकेंस इट हैज इन अवर ग्राफ्लॉज it has a significance in our graphology in terms of that in every human being there is a male and there is a female in every human being there is a there is a shiva and there is a parvati every other no every female has this every male has this so you have been programmed by either male or either female there is no other entity in the universe which is going to program you that is your ida and that is your pingala pingala is the shiva ida is the parvati so entire universe there is one shastra known uh, named as shiva swarodaya shastra or shiva swarodaya in that particular shastra it has been explained how entire universe is being entire universe is being manifested through only one and zero or your breathing pattern left and right nostril and you can control your entire life by just being aware about which nadi of yours is active in the present so our entire graphology is a study of this things only you know which nadi is influencing which nadi is influencing the pattern now when shiva influences the pattern it becomes the physical form and when parvati influences the pattern it becomes the mental form imaginary things when shiva influences the pattern it becomes a physical thing jo aapko asthma mein dikhegi aaju aaju wo hoga wo ho jayega shiva ka pattern aur jab yahi pattern और जब यही पैटर्न जो है रिकॉर्डिंग ऑन और नॉट सो सो व्हेन समथिंग हैज अ फॉर्म इट बिकम्स अ पार्ट ऑफ शिवा व्हेन समथिंग इज इमेजिनरी इट बिकम्स अ पार्ट ऑफ पार्वती सो हाउ मेनी थिंग्स आर देयर इन योर लाइफ according to which you cannot see but have has a lot 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 of significance in your life yes daksha what things are there which has a greater or larger significance in your life but you which you cannot see anand trisha anjali chetan which are the things which you cannot see but has a greater impact or larger impact on your life love affection very good and then our thoughts are your joy yeah all these are called emotions these are the manifestations love anger hatred uh, you know passion imagination visual all those things are basically the things which are required for you to be a sane person or to live the life so these are the things which you cannot see but has lot of lot of importance in your life emotions all emotions so always remember that your emotions control your action controls uh, actions are taken by shiva 
नोटिस नोटिस एक्शन चिल्लाना दौड़ना भागना कूदना खेलना यू नो ऑल दिस आर एक्शन ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर एक्शन सो एवरी एक्शन हैज सम काइंड ऑफ इमोशंस बिहाइंड इट यू नो अंडर सेंटिंग यू हैव इमोशंस यू विल नॉट टेक एक्शन मोर द स्ट्रॉंग इमोशंस आर द मोस्ट स्ट्रॉंग द एक्शंस इफ टू पीपल यू नो इफ अ हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ आर ड्राइविंग द कार अकॉर्डिंग टू यू If husband is driving the car and husband and wife are driving the car, are there together in the car? Who is the person is controlling the speed of the car? Tell me. Accordingly, who is controlling the speed? Husband or wife? See, express people saying wife, very right, very very wife. Husband is driving. Husband is driving. Remember, husband is driving. Still, the speed is controlled by the wife. Let me share you. Let me share my own story with you. Whenever I drive, you know, I, whenever I drive bike, car is not so good. Okay, bike is comfortable now. But whenever I drive bike, my if my wife is sitting behind me, the entire speed is controlled by wife. The moment the speed goes a bit, I get some kind of pinch at my stomach area, you know. So all the time, even if you Feel like the speed is controlled by the wife. It's not the case. It's controlled by emotions all the time. That pinch will control whether I am speeding above forty or above sixty. The more the speed, more the more hard the pinch is. Okay, so the speed is always controlled by the emotions. So in all the actions of yours will be always controlled by the emotions. So. Shiv will be always controlled by the uh, Parvati. That is why even if Shiv doesn't wanted to marry, or doesn't wanted to have some good thing uh, in his life, he always wanted to be Bairagi and all. But still, he had to marry. Why? Because he got controlled by emotion. So all of the ladies, you know, who go out and earn money, or who go out and take lot of action, they are actually trying to kill the part of their feminine. Now, feminine, feminine has the entire universe got manifested because of the feminine. Thing, if you are not aware, Shiva is a Bairagi. Shiva, Shiva is a straight line. All females see the moment you see straight line. Straight lines is the masculine things. Curvier lines are the feminine things. That's why males have straighter bodies and females have curvier bodies. And that is why the males are more attracted to the attracted towards the lady if. A lady has a curvier body. Why? Because that curvierness shows the ability to manifest. Because the entire universe got manifested because of that curvier nature or curves. The time is a curve. The time manifested everything. No. If if there is no time, there is no meaning to this manifestation. Like your your mind that is not a manifested thing. So for mind, it doesn't matter whether what time it is. For your body, it matters. Your body knows. Okay, this is the time to eat. Your body knows this is the time to go to loo. Your mind doesn't care. Why? Because it has no manifestation. So manifestation and lady are one and the same thing. That is why the power of manifestation of ladies are much much higher than the the power of male. Power of emotion are much much higher than the power of action. If you feel like okay, it should happen, it will happen for you. If you just take the action without having the emotions behind it, it will never happen in your life. So yesterday I was reading this quote. The quote was saying that even if you have even if you have talent and no belief, okay, belief can take you uh, longer or belief can take you much much uh, greater heights compared to the talent. If you don't have talent and have belief, then also you can go. Miles, and if you have only talent and no belief, you will never reach anybody. Why? Because belief is a emotion, and talent is a action. Performing ability is action, but belief that I will be able to hit the century is the emotion, is the belief. So belief and emotion will always, always have the higher, higher. Capacity and higher performance ability. So, belief you always need to give more importance to the emotions if you want to achieve something. If you want to manifest greater things in your life, you always have to be 
you always have to be giving more importance to the emotions. So that is what the Shiva and Parvati story is. That is what this picture also indicates. So we are the we are the part. We are we are having the emotions as well as the action. So right side of your body, this right side of your body will always be presentation of your male side, and left side of your body will always represent your female side. So whatever problem you have your with your right side of the body, those problems will be male related problem, male related problem, and whatever problem you have on the left side of your body will have the will be the female related problem. That's why heart is on the left side. Okay, somebody was begging for the heart. No? So heart is for heart is a feminine thing. Yeah, it's it's in the female side as well, female body as well. It's in the female and in male. Both right will be the male and left will be the female. So we are going to learn more about it. So now, in graphology, to make it simpler, every time calling uh, zero and one becomes very difficult. So uh, sorry, every time calling Shiva and Shakti becomes very difficult. So we call it zero and one. Zero being female, one being male. So. Initially, for first, first seven years of your age, you get programmed predominantly by zeros. Okay, more number of zeros in first zero to seven seven years of age, you have more number of zeros. So that is why it is difficult for male to uh, handle the kid who is below seven years of age. You never you will never see a person. You will never see a person who uh, who is a bodybuilder, strong, muscular, and he is teaching to the nursery kids about blah 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 shit. How many movies? Okay, nobody will be there. No, no male. That's why there is one movie in the uh, Hollywood as well who talks about uh, a guy handling a younger kid. So he has the terrible time handling them because they are the presentation of pure feminine kids. That's why they are very very innocent as well. Before seven years, okay. So more number of zeros, zero to seven, and some part of one. So this zero to seven will have majority, major, majority, majority. It will have the zero, and at some level it have one. So predominantly you will get programmed zero to seven by zeros and by some part by one. So after seven, the kids become a bit of young. At that time, he is supposed to be action oriented. That is why, at this age of seven, you are supposed to send him out for learning. From seven to fourteen, he gets predominantly programmed by one, and this is the time when it has the maximum growth in terms of talk talking ability, in terms of uh, sports, in terms of body, everywhere. If this period, if in this period he doesn't get the support and encouragement of father. From seven to fourteen, then this boy, this boy will not have great height. This boy will not be able to uh, perform very, very well. No, this particular period of seven to fourteen, this period defines how much risk he will take, how much efforts he will take, how much growth he will, this person will have in his life in terms of action, how much height, weight, everything. You no, know, if this is a very crucial period for the physical growth. The growth of the courage. Yeah, this this is this is this period zero to seven is for survival. In this period, the child will be taught how to survive, how to avoid the risk, how to avoid the challenges, how to how to be safe. This period will be for that. This period will be how to take risk. What is the problem? Here, mother goes to this part and tries to ask the kid, "Oh, don't do this." Don't do this. Arey, don't do this. 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 You can be father and mother. 
not at the age of 18, okay? Many of you have this misconception that if are at the age of 18, no, at the age of 14, you become adult. So, at this period, between 0 to 14, there is no lid on your subconscious mind. There is no lid. Quit hakkani. So, whatever you do in front of your kid becomes the part of kid. Whatever you do in front of your uh, child, what positive or negative, doesn't matter. If you do negative, that becomes a standard for you. If you do positive, that becomes a standard for you. He, com he will compare things after 14 with this as a standard. Let me tell you one story. Once upon a time, I had gone to one uh, village to my village. You know, there was some kind of marriage function going on. And at that marriage function, what I saw that one male was troubling one female and female was also enjoying because she was also a young lady and she was getting to that uh, uh, period of 14 plus you know 14 15 so she was she was being very curious about this new for male attraction because of the hormones and she was also trying to get somebody's attention now this happens when the father has not paid enough attention to a girl between 7 to 14 she will always be trying to get some kind of attraction from the male so that lady was trying and this person was giving so now I saw that happen and then then we sort of started speaking about it so I happened to speak about this thing in front of her uh, in front of his daughter and his daughter got angry even though she understood or don't be in this misconception that your your kids doesn't understand your kid understands every bit of emotion that you have and he gets programmed with that your kid knows every good and positive bad thing you are doing you know without you being aware that he knows or not he knows everything about you everything when you are lying when you are trying to manipulate him, when you are trying to manipulate your saheli, your friend, when you are trying to manipulate his father or his mother, everything will, he understands. He may not, he may not react right now, but that thing is getting programmed in him that, okay, this is how you are supposed to do it. So his daughter got angry. Why? Because now she was not 14. She was between 7 to 14. So she knows, she loves her father unconditionally and there are there are no conditions for loving between 7 to 14 whether you are good bad even if you are not staying with the kid today for majority of your life you, you still your kid is going to love you why because he is he is not adult the moment he becomes adult he will remember okay you are not there in his life and that moment onwards he will he will be having the grudge towards you against you or a kind of anger towards you but now he will absolutely going to love you because there is no lid on the subconscious mind so the, his daughter got angry because whatever her father was doing according to her it is a correct behavior and that same behavior will get programmed into her and that lady that girl will, is going to behave similar manner in future she will also get, en get engaged or involved in that kind of activity so this, this is what happens when you get programmed between 0 to 14 years old, 13 years old. Now, there are some people who are male but who are girlish. Why? Because those people have more number of zeros into them. When I say girlish, feminine influence or see, right now the kind of age we are in, this is a feminine age. Here, the the uh, the thought is more dominant here the people are more dominant who are thoughtful in the industrial age you earn because of you had an industry in agricultural age you earn because you had a farm, farming land or cattle in today's age you are going to earn because of your thought unique thought the more unique you are because female wants to be unique Female wants to be the only one and male wants everyone. Female wants one person to 
love him, love her unconditionally to the entire life. Male wants to love everybody. We have a greater heart, I guess, larger heart. But what a joke apart, the the male, the female. So today, the people, the person who has ideas, that person is only going to earn more money. The more you have thought, unique thought, how uniquely can you represent the same idea is today's way of earning money. Why? Because this age is a feminine age. Now females are more dominant, more charismatic, more talented, more intelligent, and this is the first time that more women have got more freedom as well. Males were always very very afraid of females, you know, always because the only area where males are superior than the females are the physical form is the physical form. Except that female always have a better capability, better understanding, better everything. Now, what is the problem of the lady? Lady's problem is the patience and patience and fearfulness. These two things are there because of which lady is not that strong. Else, the ladies has much much more caliber capacity to perform than compared to the males. That's why when female decides to be the best in the world, she becomes the best in the world without a male. You see, all the male, all the ladies who are best in the world in terms of uh, any CEO or these these ladies are single. They don't have male because they chose to be male. So they become male, and the male energy went missing in their life. But they become male. So they become the supreme power in their own field. So this is the uh, thing. Ki, the moment you have more number of zeros, you will be in a bit of feminine in nature. So all these actors, gym personalities. See why why the person who does a lot of gymming is the female because he adds a lot of curves to his body. No, as I said, he does this, he does that, he does that, he does that. You know, so gymming gymming people add more curves to their body. So the moment you add so many curves, you become a female in nature. That is why you like to see yourself. Those people like to see themselves in the mirror in the mirror a lot. That's why they want to be unique. That's why they tend to add a lot of curves to their body. So all actors, gym personalities, gym gym people, gym industry bodybuilders, all those people are feminine in nature. More number of zeros. And someday we can say Karan Johar as well. So more number of feminine. And the moment you have more zeros, more ones in your life, you become a bit of masculine. You see those strong girls, maybe Priyanka Chopra, maybe Rani Mukherjee, or. Uh, you know, a lot of lot of ladies are there who are who will like a uh, short hairs, who will who will be bindas, who will ride motorcycle, motor bikes and all, who will smoke, who will drink comfortably. You know, all all those people. These are masculine kind of tendencies. Okay, drinking, uh, smoking. These are masculine kind of tendencies. Those are more of a tomboyish girl. Those people have more number of ones in today. Ah. <laughs> Martina, yeah, 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 very true, very true. Maybe I don't know much about her, but yeah, she played for more than forty years, I guess. So, how to identify? Okay, you you will just come to know by the way they stand, the way their body is. More comes, more comes with a kind of feminine, and the statement kind of muscle. So, anybody has any question up till now with the introduction of graphology? Right now, this this was introduction. This is how we get program. We will move forward now. Any questions, everybody? Everyone? Great. So this was can can be changes. Right now we are going to first understand what is there. You no, know? uh, change is possible. Change is change is the only constant thing. Only constant thing is the change. You can change. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Okay, so great. Anything else? So now you get programmed by zero and one. When I say zero, it's your mother and mother figure. How many of you understand the mother figure concept? Mother and mother figure. Yes, Ganesh understands. Very nice. If you if you don't understand, you can type no. So I will explain mother figure. What is the mother figure concept? 
अरविंद जोशी नो वेरी नाइस संजय सिंह नो वेरी नाइस राइट सो मदर यू गेट प्रोग्राम बाय जीरो जीरो इज नॉट ओनली योर मदर चौबीस सिंह नो दक्ष सिंह यस वेरी नाइस सो मदर एंड मदर फिगर वेन एस ए मदर इट्स योर बायोलॉजिकल मदर एंड वेन एस ए मदर फिगर दे आर दे आर नॉट योर बायोलॉजिकल मदर्स बट दे आर लाइक मदर्स टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल युअर हिस्ट्री टीचर और युअर लैंग्वेज टीचर और युअर बुआ युअर दादी युअर मौसी ऑल दोज पीपल ऑल दोज फीमेल्स आर मदर फिगर सो वॉट एवर युअर मदर डज एंड वॉट एवर युअर दादी डज एंड दादी दादी हैज मोर प्रोग्रामिंग पावर अगर आपने दस बार बताए ना तो आपका बच्चा नहीं सुनेगा लेकिन इफ योर दादी इफ हिज दादी और हर दादी कैसे फॉर द वन टाइम ऑफ यू नो यू लेसन बिकॉज 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 दादीज प्रोग्रामिंग इज मच मच मोर स्ट्रॉगर दादीज प्रोग्रामिंग इज मच मच स्ट्रॉगर सो मदर एंड मदर फिगर सो यू गेट प्रोग्राम बाय ऑल सो एट टाइम्स वेन यू एनालाइज एंड रेडिंग देर इज पॉसिबिलिटी देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट अ पर्सन विल से नो नो दिस डजेंट माई मदर इज नॉट लाइक दैट यू नीड टू से ओके देन यू वॉट अबाउट योर बुआ एंड वॉट अबाउट योर दादी बिकॉज बुआ एंड दादी हज हैज अ स्ट्रॉगर प्रोग्राम टू पावर एंड देन कम्स नाना नानी एंड मामा मामी दादा दादी हैज अ मैक्सिमम पोटेंशियल टू प्रोग्राम एंड यूडी एंड देन बुआ एंड देन नाना नानी so whenever we analyze at times a person will say okay this is this is not my this, my boy is like not like that my dad is not like that why we why we talk about bua dada dadi yesterday also i i analyzed one hundred thing and i told that person okay somebody from your maternal side has a diabetes so he said okay that is okay correct you are saying correctly that my nana nani has a diabetes but tell me something about me so my next question was to him was okay From whose identity I am able to tell you this? So he said, "Mine." So I am talking about you. But since you are young and it has not manifested in your life right now, I am talking about your nana nani because this mindset of yours has come from the nana nani. So because your mindset is from nana nani, I will talk about them. It will manifest in your life because you have been influenced by them. So it will manifest, but not now. It will take some time to to. Make, to make make that thought become mature. The moment it is uh, mature, it will manifest. Okay. So this was regarding the uh, this was regarding the uh, program, mother and mother figure. Uh, similarly, father and father figure. Now, who all people are your father figure? Your people, the people who will influence you as a father will be uh, your father, then your principal, math teacher. PT teacher, government, government officials. No, those are you. You see, na my bab, government, my bab. So you always had this my bab feeling towards the government, the data. So your government will also influence you. That hero, 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 as well. You know, lot of people in the early eighties got influenced by Sanjay Dutt or uh, Amitabh Bachchan or those heroes. So they started looking like them. Because at that time, what was the eighties pattern? Eighties pattern was the fathers they are outside earning for the family, isn't it? They used to be very very busy because survival was not that easy. Things were not that cheap. Things were not that in abundance. So people had to do lot of stuff to have good thing onto the table. So because the fathers were absent, they saw lot of movies and they got influenced by those movies and that. Thing because he, he they got influenced by those heroes they started looking like a hero or they started becoming like a hero so you observe those kind of people who were in that era you will find maximum people talking like hero or trying to do something like a hero they got very very it was very easy to influence the crowd at that time that's why those people Amitabh Bachchan Devanan or Shatrughan Sinha even though now right now we understand that they, they, they were not that great in terms of their personal life and all but they influenced so many people in that era. Because their own father, our own father was not there at the home. That's why those people have had such a crazy fan following. Nowadays, nobody had that kind of fan following wherein people are copying each and everything of hero, right? Hairstyle, body, and all. But that era, everybody used to copy the hairstyle, walking styles. 
वो एक गाना आया था ओए ओए हीरो तो पीपल स्टार्टेड टीजिंग गर्ल्स विद दैट सॉन्ग नेक्स्ट डे आउटवर्स वाइ बट दैट काइंड ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस दे हैड ऑन द क्राउड सो ऑल दोस पीपल विल गेट प्रोग्राम बाय फादर एंड फादर फिगर पीपल हु द पर्स योर ओन बायोलॉजिकल फादर एंड पीपल हु आर लाइक बड़े चाचा इज अ फादर बड़े चाचा इज अ फादर दादा इज अ फादर एंड देन मैथ्स टीचर पी टी टीचर ऑल दिस पीपल विल बी योर फादर फिगर अंडरस्टूड एवरीबडी फादर एंड फादर फिगर कंसेप्ट यस नाउ वी विल नो अबाउट सम रूल्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज वाइल डूइंग द एनालिसिस यू नो देर आर सम बेसिक रूल्स विच वी नीड टू फॉलो ओके सो देर आर सम प्रिंसिपल विच विच यू आर सपोज टू बिहेव इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनालिसिस सो फर्स्ट now you are going to learn exactly today we are you are going to learn exactly how to analyze somebody's handwriting but before you even become the handwriting analyst you need to follow certain rules to become a to become no but ishan is asking whether the people will be a parental side males no all males no all males who are like father to parental side of course it can be from the you can be influenced by your mama as well. so your father figure become become your mama but since it comes from the female side the the uh, you will become more of more of a female uh, male so this uh, guru uh, which guru uh, osho osho got influenced by his nana nani a lot so he always was good with the languages or soft skills osho stayed at the nana nani so for him the nana was the father figure and nani was the mother figure and he was very good with the debates he was a debate champion so now there are certain rules we are which you are supposed to follow you before you become the graphologist the first rule which you need to follow is the principle of balance write it down guys this is very very important principle of balance so when i explain what what i mean by principle of balance whenever you are doing somebody's handwriting analysis you are supposed to be very very balanced for that handwriting analysis when i say balance you should not have any kind of grudge or extra affection towards that person you should not try to take the advantage of the situation for example in terms of males uh, the girls are very very folly for the handwriting analysis so you are not supposed to call them to your apartment or any uh, close places where you, you could have you could take the advantage of them you are supposed to be balanced about the analysis you are supposed to call them at the public places and there only you are supposed to do the handwriting analysis so the balance has to be there you have no nothing no false things you should do with anybody Girls, same thing applies to girls also. They are not supposed to take extra advantage of thing just because they know something from the handwriting analysis of the other person. Then there is something called as principle of exaggeration. When I say exaggeration, when something is overdone in the handwriting, अगर कोई चीज बहुत ज़्यादा पैमाने पे handwriting में किए तो opposite is true. Whenever something is been overdone in the handwriting, it means that opposite is the truth. For example, if one of your friend comes to you and say, "I am rich, I am rich, I am rich," you know, "Dekh mera ghadi kitna chha, me kitna amir, dekh mera boot kitna chha, dekh mera shoes kitna chha." So you will, you should come to know, okay, this person is exaggerating the things. This person is actually might be hiring stuff just to showcase that I am rich. So uh, whatever opposite, whatever is is being being done extra in the handwriting, opposite will be the truth. Then there is something called as principle of perception. Now I am going to show you. uh one uh, mobile okay now this mobile is there can you everybody see this mobile can you everybody see the mobile yes or no type in yes yes okay so what is the color of the mobile i'm asking what is the color of the mobile great anand is able to see rohit is there okay anand is saying maroon somebody is saying red maroon red maroon also red that is saying maroon ishan is saying cover is red one is gold done maroon maroon from the side side ganesh is saying okay great awesome now what if i tell you that everybody of you have got it wrong if what if i say the color of the mobile is black and white what will you say What if I tell you the color of the mobile? Am I right or wrong? 
If I say the color of the wall is black and white, am I right or wrong? Any takers for me being right? We both are right. Yeah. Males are supposed to say that whenever they are in argument with the wife. We both are right. Okay, you are right from your side. Okay, great, great. Very nice. The, yeah, this is called the principle of perception. So, whenever you see anybody's handwriting, you are supposed to say the things which are there in the handwriting. Not from your own perception. You feel that, okay, you feel that the father of Sanjay Dutt was very loving because he helped so many people, because he was loving towards other people. But when you see the handwriting of Sanjay Dutt, whatever his handwriting will tell you, you are supposed to say that to the Sanjay Dutt and nobody, nothing, anything else. Only thing which is there in the handwriting, only that thing you are supposed to say to the writer and not your own perception. According to you, it might be the other case, other way around. Now, according to you, it might be like, okay, his father is very loving or his husband is very loving or uh, her husband is very loving or uh, he, he has a good childhood. You know? This is your perception. So don't impose your ideas, your way of thinking onto the right. Whatever there in the handwriting, whatever we have taught you in the handwriting, only that thing has to go to the uh, person. Even if you see that this person has a Mercedes, BMW and everything and if you see that he has a mindset of poor in the handwriting, scarcity mindset. So you are supposed to say you are always have a scarcity, you feel like you don't have enough. And believe me guys, the person will say yes to that. That is the power of perception. You never tell your perception. Only tell the things which you are watching in the handwriting. Now the next principle is principle of dilution. What is principle of dilution says? That if there are two or more traits opposite to each other in the handwriting. If there are two or more traits opposite to each other in the handwriting, then both these traits will dilute each other. For example, if you are very, very intelligent, that is the one trait in handwriting that you see that you are very very intelligent and the other trait in the handwriting is that you are very very uh, lazy you are not that action -oriented. you are lazy so these two traits are opposite to each other so your intelligence will go down and your laziness will also go down so you overall your, so your overall your success rate will be mediocre because you are intelligent your laziness will not be shown to the people and because you are lazy, your intelligence will at times will not be there to present itself in a proper way. So like this, whatever happens in the handwriting, if two or more traits are there to, up, to negate each other, both will go down. This is called a principle of dilution. Let's, let's take another example, Very, if, if you are very aggressive in nature or if, let's assume that you are very angry. If you are very angry, that is one trait and you are loving okay an angry person can also be a loving person if you are not aware huh? all those husbands who, who are here you know that right your wife may be angry at the same time loving so angry person and loving person can be the same person so if you are angry and very loving then you will get angry alone but because you are loving you will not hit somebody you will make sure that that person is taken care of you will not try to be forceful in terms of uh, hitting or being cruel to that because you are loving. So both trait and your lovingness will not be shown to the people. Your, your loving nature will not be visible to the people because they will always see you as an angry person. So both trait will go down. The third, uh, fourth rule is principle of, no, fifth rule is principle of enhancement. Now, when uh, two or more traits are supporting each other, for example, if you are hardworking and you are intelligent, so your so your results will be awesome. You will get a hell lot of results in the life. If you are the third was the principle of perception. 
So the fifth is principle of enhancement. When two or more trades are supporting each other, when these two trades support each other, your performance will increase like anything. So when you have this trade supporting each other, your performance will increase. So that is the principle of enhancement. Like Tendulkar has a, was talented. Okay. Now he was talented and he did a lot of hard work. So he became the number one. Kamli was more talented than Tendulkar, but he, was, he did not have the hard work in capacity. He was not there to do hard work. So he, nobody, no, nobody knows him much. So the principle of enhancement. Then the last one is principle of one thought, uh, principle of follow-up. Follow-ups. Principle of follow-ups. What does principle of follow-up means? Principle of follow-up means when you know one thing in the graphology, you should be able to tell 10 things about the person. For example, if I come to know that this person has a weaker bones, weaker bones, one of the lady, one of the lady of uh, my knowing has weaker bones. Whenever she falls down, she tends to cracks some bone or the other. Can you imagine that happening? No? Any of you knows uh, condition like that, the, the moment somebody hits something, their bone cracks. Weaker kind of bone. Thode se bigger jate, to bone toot jate. Anybody is there who uh, understand what I am speaking, have seen or have heard this kind of cases. Oh, go Gopal Das has oh, I was not aware. Oh, awesome. Dasha is saying yes, Ishan Khan has told me, told us something new. Very nice. So, what it says, yeah, Charu Modi also saying yes, yes, I know. Very nice. So, this is a case where your bones are not strong. Now, if as a layman, if I ask you, what will bone represent in terms of 1 and 0 or Shiv and Shiv? What will be the bone? Shiv and Shakti, you may say bone carrier. Chetan is saying Shiv, Harjot is saying one, Matalya is saying Shiv, Ganesh is saying Shiv. Very nice. See, now that lady told me only one thing. Okay, my bone cracks very easy. So, what I come to know that her Shiv is strong, uh, weak. Now I got to know about that lady that her bones tend to crack very easily. It means that her shoe is weak. Which part? One is weak. Which part? Male is weak. Now why a male becomes weak? When a male becomes weak, weak in the life of lady. What all the things I will come to know? I will come to know, okay, it means that it means that her father was not there with her in the childhood, between 7 to 14. It means that she might not be taking help from a maid. It means that she might not be taking money from the husband. It might means that she might be spending more money of her on herself. Because there is no energy from the shoe part. Are you ready guys? So this is what the principle of one thought and many follow means. Principle of one thought and many follow means that if you come to know about one thing in the graphology, you should be able to tell 10 different things to the person. Of course, it will come with the practice. Of course, it will come with a lot of supervision and assistance from our side. But this is the sixth principle. Now, uh, we will not divert from uh, what we are going to teach. We are not going to discuss a lot of things. This is the principle of one thought and many. Okay, Mithal, I'm not very clear about what you're saying, but this is what we are saying, that if you come to know about one thing in the handwriting, you should be able to uh, take many follows up, up from that thing, you know. And then it will be there in the handwriting that we will tell you a lot of things. You will be able to do a lot of, no, don't divert, uh, Natalia, that was just an example, you know, which I had in my life. Don't divert the topic from uh, anything else, okay? So don't uh, discuss the thing. We are from for the example which I gave. It's my own personal life experiences, and uh, if you tend to divert the topic or from learning to the discussion, then nothing will happen. 
Thank you very much. Another day. So this we will get the six principles. Now we will take a break of ten short minutes. Bathroom breaks, loo breaks, do be after that. Not more than ten. Okay, I will start sharp within ten minutes. Okay, everybody is okay with this, right? So at four twenty-five we will come back. Awesome, great, awesome. Pause. Pause it for me, anyone? Can you tell me?